Hey! Hey! Hi. Hi. Good morning! Hey, hey, hey! So, my name is Arnel Madraso. Uh, I'm the teacher blogger. So, I'm, I'm here now with my students, AB English students. Uh, we have Dina Buenaventura. Hi. She's also the president of ELC. And another classmate who is from the translation study. What group are you? Translation study, sir. Group three. Yes. Group three. Group three. Okay. Uh, we're blogging because it has been my plan. All, all the, I think I've been announcing it that I want to tour you around FU. But last time I was thinking about it, I was telling Dina because I'm not. I just joined FU recently. It's just been my two years. So they've been here for quite some time. So they know the place. So a place like this. So what is the name of this place? So, What's this? Uh, this is the FEU. At the back of the grandstand, okay. we usually refer it as the Nicanor Nye statue. We will show them. Huh? Okay, so that's the... That wall there is... What's that, Dina? The grandstand. So we will be showing you that later. Okay. This is... Well, my daughter really lo loves this place. And I blog as well in this place. Sometimes, you know, reflections, I do reflections here. What do you feel when you're here? It is quite relaxing yes, because sir. there are a lot of uh, plants and... Palms, no? Plants. Green. Green. Actually, this is garden. I was telling Dina a while ago, maybe there has to be a name, right? Like Nicanor Reyes Garden, no? Actually, in the heritage map of F. There is no name for this place, so we should we usually refer it as the back of the grandstand or the Nicanor or the garden yeah. of or the Nicanor Reyes statue. So there's some people are calling this garden. Maybe I think so, like, just like what she said. But it's Nicanor Reyes statue. So yes. when you say Nicanor Reyes statue, it's here, correct? Yes, sir. It's in fact within the Nicanor Reyes. Vicinity, right? Yes, sir. In front of the Nicanor, the yes. Okay, so let's talk about research. So uh, we are done with the final defense, and I already <laughs> posted the nominations. So uh, Dina's group. I'd like to ask <laughs> controversial questions about you know interesting. This is what I do in my blog. I ask. Critical questions, but interesting as well. In in your group, Dina, your research. At first, what was the research title? Uh, during the first defense, first. the title of our research is the link. I forgot the <laughs> title. Okay, so because it evolved, eh, right? Yes, but sir. you were looking at. I think this is a trauma narrative, yes, correct? You you read an article that was focused more on the trauma narratives, yes, sir. and then. Having to deal with psychological variable. Yes, sir. Right? So that was the, the framework. Yes, sir. Looking into the narr trauma narratives and then trying to link it if there's association or correlation yes, with uh, distress, right? Yes, sir. We're looking at the linguistic category mm -hmm. that may reflect the participants' distress uh, behavior. Yes, okay, sir. Now I have a question because in previous years, no? Uh, research 2017 there were also trauma narratives because of the disaster correct yes sir. now my question is were you deviating from the same study was it what was it because i was telling you can you just focus on the trauma narratives and then but then you were really insisted eh? correct what was the purpose why you were really pushing for the behavior study uh, because uh, the stu previous study, it isn't mm. under one umbrella, just like in our study. Correct. But there's a difference because mm. in our study, we're looking at the behavior. Mm. Now, okay, that's. I think you're aware that you're entering into the psychology realm, right? Yes, sir. So psychology, so psycholinguistics. Yes, sir. Did you choose this because you know that your research mentor is a psycholinguist? Were you thinking about it also? Uh, yes, sir. Because okay. actually, uh, we want to look at the distress level, actually. But mm. then, uh, we but I was telling you, can you just not do this? I was you don't focus because the panelists, you know, are English teachers, and yet you're really that's something with your group. I cannot really tell you what 
you know, I cannot just force you to do something because you're thinking eh. Yes, sir. But then we just no. realize that in our analysis, it can stand on its own without mm. the psychological aspect. Correct. But then, uh, Still. for future studies, oh. there could be uh, okay. further uh, studies made in that field. I okay. Mean, now, you see, is it also because of HANA? Uh, yes, sir, it could be. <laughs> but then, uh, it's a group decision. Naman. It's a group decision, but these readings, these advanced readings, it's yes, just been, you know, instruments and all, method. How do you deal with HANA? <laughs> sir, it's actually hard to find some related studies in our uh, research because uh, using the method that we employed in our study, there weren't much uh, studies made in that uh, research. But then, uh, we just assigned the members on what task they need to okay. do and that what they need to focus on. So Wait, I, I have a question. The numbers, no, the quantitative variables and all, I know that we have tasks. But in terms of selecting, I think, you know, I think I'm having the feeling that it's Hannah who is looking for that scale and all. Yes, sir. But right? So sir, how do you... Uh, she was working on the numbers and the other... You were also processing the, yes, the theory. Okay, yes, sir. So... But then, uh, as a group, we discussed mm. the, what, does, uh, what do we need to do with this and explain why uh. is this like this. So, so wait. Uh, so, you're saying that you understand what each... And every member would would present no example yes. if Anna would present okay I like this then there would be some sort of a discussion going on yes right? sir because uh, before the thesis defense our group mm. discussed that even if it is not our part we need to study it Try because to understand. just in case uh, we need to back up each other during the defense whose idea was polarity Actually, Who read that article? Actually, I suggested polarity, sir, because I... You suggested it? Yes, sir, because I read an article regarding it. Uh, because that's, that's, that's psycholinguistics. Yes, sir, because uh, we're looking at the semantic polarity, if it's mm. neutral, negative, or positive in the mm. narrative. Sir. So that's why... Okay, uh, so it's good to know that, you know, it's not only one person who's deciding, you or Hannah or... What I like here is that even the rest are actually, I also no noticed that in the Google Docs because, you know, it's it's actually a group, group yes, work. Now, it's an advanced, there's a nomination, no? Yes, sir. Advanced. Yes, sir. <laughs> there are comments from the panelists that it's PhD level. Just imagine that. I do not know if it's a compliment or if it's a, I think it's a, it's a, it's a flattery, it's a compliment, no? PhD, undergraduate. And you have read a lot of challenging readings. Yes, sir. Because mm -hmm. uh, our advisor just realized that he just made us do a lot in our study. But then mm -hmm. it's okay because uh, we were able to extra extract what we want to extract in our study. So it's mm -hmm. satisfying. Okay, so we will have to move uh, to another location. So uh, from here, where are we going? Oh. So Grandstand. Grandstand, Grandstand and Freedom Park, then after that, we will eat. Yes, yes. So the third location is we eat, and then the fourth, we will try to look for another place. Okay? Yes. So bye! See you later! See you later. <laughs> <laughs> Extra lang talaga ka <laughs> then.